Hello everyone, we're starting out dry this morning, but with a cold front working over us late this afternoon and through the evening hours, rain and snow are coming back. So let's walk you through things hour by hour starting 8 a.m. this morning. Completely dry, no worries about precipitation for the morning commute, but the cloud cover is starting to thicken up. And as early as noon, I do have to mention the chance for a couple of rain showers in the western part of the area. If you're in Columbus, York, Hebron, I think everyone else will be dry because uh, notice we're going to jump ahead another four hours and at four o'clock still not much going on. I think it's four o'clock though that's a significant time. That's when the cold front's going to start to push in and it's after four o'clock that we'll really start to see the precipitation spread to more locations uh, across the area. High temperatures day already seeing the influence of the front that's going to be starting to push in around four o'clock. So there could be a couple places in the southern part of the area that have reached the mid 40s. I think most of us are going to top out in the upper 30s, low 40s. Uh, but in the northwestern part of the area, in places like Columbus in particular, maybe only topping out in the mid 30s. Also going to get breezy this afternoon, starting out with very little wind, but this afternoon a gust picking up to around 20 miles per hour, and then it's going to stay breezy for the rest of the evening and through the overnight hours. The peak of the activity looks like 7, 8, 9 o'clock this evening, a period with scattered rain and snow showers. Initially rain, but our temperatures are going to be coming down behind the front. So once temperatures reach the low 30s, we'll see the rain change over to snow. Now, it does look like there's more moisture available in the southern part of the area than the northern part of the area. So particularly as we make that transition from rain to snow, I think the better chance of snow is farther south of the north. So the farther north you live, the less likely it is that you're going to see any snow. The farther south you live, the more likely it is that you're going to get in on the snow. There's just more moisture available in the uh, southern part of the area. Notice when we jump ahead to midnight, we are probably done with the snow chance for Lincoln and Omaha, but I'm going to leave the chance in there for the most southeastern part of the area through a good chunk of the overnight hours, but I do think by 3 a.m., very late tonight, we will be done with the snow. And as far as snow totals go, again, in the northern part of the area, there could be some that miss out. I think most are going to see a dusting, a tenth of an inch, a quarter of an inch. I think those amounts are going to be most common. There could be a few spots in the southern part of the area, perhaps Hebron, Beatrice, or Fall City. They get a half an inch or three quarters of an inch, but I think that's going to be it. All snow totals less than an inch, and for most, quite a bit less than that. And this brings us to Thursday, which is looking dry. We'll start out mostly cloudy, but skies will become mostly sunny in the afternoon, so decreasing cloud cover most of the day, partly cloudy. And we will be cooler than today, but not way Colder. We're talking about high temperatures ranging from the upper 20s in the northern part of the area to the mid to perhaps a one or two spots still making it to the upper 30s. But I think upper 20s, low 30s are going to be most common for high temperatures. But, but it is not going to be feeling this warm because there's going to be more wind around tomorrow than today behind the cold front rather than along the cold front. So tomorrow we're looking at wind gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. So when we hit these high temperatures, in the afternoon tomorrow, look what it's actually going to be feeling like when you factor in those wind gusts. Yeah, only feeling like the mid to upper teens in the northern part of the area, and at the warmest, the mid to upper 20s in the southern part of the area. 